What's up guys, JDog back again, and we're back with another video. And in today's video we're going to be looking at the official way to now convert Minecraft worlds over from Bedrock to Java, or from Java to Bedrock. And this is just as fast as easy as the other methods using JE2BE that I used before on my other videos, and it's an awesome resource to use. The only thing that I will say about it is that it does have certain file limits, so if you do find yourself that your world is too big, then still use JE2BE from the Microsoft Store to convert any size Minecraft world over. So before we get started, let's just create a new world that we can remember. So let's create a new world, let's name it something that we will remember. I've already done a chunk test, so let's just do a chunky test video. So that's going to be that, let's do a creative world, let's create the world and just make something on it, as we'll need this once we get started with the video anyway. And we're into a brand new world in Java that we're going to convert over to Bedrock. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, or leave a comment. I do look at all of my comments, and as much as I can, I try and reply and help. So do feel free to ask me anything in the comments. Now, as we can see, we spawned here, so we may as well build something in this area. Let's just do something, as always, quite memorable. So we're just going to do a big line um, of this going straight up. There we go. So we've got one red line of crimson. So now let's just go ahead, save the world, and we're going to come over to the Chunker.app. As you can see, proudly made by Hive Games under the exclusive license to Minecraft. So no dodgy things going on here. The two options that you can use is choose the world folder. That's if you downloaded it and it's not a zip, it's simply the folder that might look something like this so when you double click the folder you can see everything within it you can also use a .zip or MC world file MC world files look a little something like that with a minecraft icon that you can double click and load up in minecraft so there are going to be two ways that we can access the worlds now or in these types of ways first of all if you want to access your java worlds we're going to come out into the little search bar down here we're going to do percentage mark app data percentage mark and once you've got this little folder showing for app data with the percentage marks we're going to click that and go into it from here double click on dot minecraft and then you're going to come down to find saves these are where your world folders are so for instance mine's going to be chunky test video i'm just going to take a copy of this and move this somewhere onto my desktop or somewhere that's just easy for me to find again so let's just go ahead and paste it in right here as you can see it's on my desktop here and i've got the folders that i need now for this version i'm going to be going to choose a world folder and i'm going to be selecting that now if you play on bedrock let's just log into bedrock and i'll show you how you can download your world there easily too from your main screen we're going to go over to play and then from any single player world obviously this was a test that i've done before you can come over to edit from edit scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page right here and you can go to export world this will then export it in an mc world type so when you come over to here you can then choose that one so for this case i'm going to be doing a java world and converting it over to bedrock so i'm going to go choose the folder that we just downloaded right here so i've got chunky test video select that one and click upload click upload again as you can see it's going to prepare and to do the world right here again it's not going to take too long to a very small world and we can go to start upload an interesting thing is after you upload it you can also get a couple of views before you do go ahead and convert which means that you can actually take a look at the map itself so from here i'm going to choose what version i want to convert it to of course that was a java world i want to go to bedrock for this instance so we're going to select bedrock 1.19.3 because that's the latest version one of the cool things here is that you can also come to the advanced mode and you can actually check out a generated um, image of the world obviously i just started up so i have not really got that much to show and you can switch mode over to here so again i'm going to select bedrock edition come down to the bottom and convert world and download very quickly it's going to convert over this might just take a little bit longer if you have got a slightly larger world and we're ready to download simply hit the download button and you are now going to download your world as you can see in this case it's downloaded it for bedrock because i've converted it from java so if i double click this as an mc world it'll simply open up as a single player world on your minecraft launcher now if you've downloaded it from java you're going to be getting a zipped version instead so if you convert it from bedrock to java you're going to get a zip the way to actually get this ready to upload back to your minecraft um, single player or indeed a server is by right hand clicking on the world folder itself going over to 7zip or your extraction method and going to extract here to extract the files where they are as you can see we now have another version of the folder which isn't zipped and it's got everything that we need for the world so we can go ahead and delete the zipped version now in the bottom left search for percentage mark app data percentage mark and click on the folder from here we're going to go to dot minecraft one more time go down to saves over here so with your java world files over here and the new world file that you've just converted over here and moved over and unzipped we can simply drag that over and i did rename this so rename this to whatever you want it to show up in your single player world or if you are uploading it to a server i'd suggest renaming it just with one word to leave out the spaces so i'm just going to drag and drop that into my saves folder on minecraft 
and once this is done, which is just done right now, when I open up my single player Java Minecraft, it's going to be there. And that's as quick and easy as using Chunker is. So thanks for watching guys, for any more tutorials, check out the rest of my channel, head on over to my website, jdogofficial.com, where you can find lots and lots of tutorials, how to create a free social link profile, mod packs, free bedrock add-ons, and of course the information to join my server. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye!